Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be making torpedo rolls. If you've never been here before I'm a professional baker and I show you all the tricks of the trade and things you shouldn't know and if you like this type of content please subscribe and please share and don't forget to check the description down below because I've got lots of playlists of video recipes I've already done. Right and let's get straight on with the recipe and for your recipe you want 450 grams of strong white flour 300 grams of warm water, or it can be just room temperature if you like, three grams of sugar, seven grams of bread improver. Now this is quite optional if you want, but I am actually using it. Seven grams of sea salt and 14 grams of fresh yeast. Now if you want to use dry yeast, just follow the instructions on the box. And for your recipe, you definitely need a mixer. I wouldn't try and do this by hand, to be honest and you won't get the development in it that you need. And just to let you know, the room temperature is around about 20 Celsius and proving is around about 25 Celsius. Now the first thing we need to be doing, we need to be putting our water into our machine bowl. Then add in our yeast, add in the sugar and just give this a mix round. This is just to make sure everything is mixed around properly. You don't have to let this froth up or anything. You can just use it as it is. Add in our flour. Add in our salt. And add in our bread improver. So first thing we're gonna be doing is knocking this onto first speed for one minute. So that's five minutes, so what we're gonna do is now give it a little bit of a scrape down. And also just check the consistency. Now that ain't too bad. It does wanna be on the softer side, but not really, really soft. Not like the dough we did the other day, which is like super soft, but this is fine. And that's nice, that'll just be put on. And now we're gonna give this another five minutes on third speed. All we need is some prep spray and just to spray around the bowl. And with prep spray, that'll just stop it from sticking to the bowl. Just spray around this bowl as well. And if your hands do get a bit sticky, just spray some onto your hands like this. And that's it. All you need to do is just sort of mold it into a bit of a ball in the bowl. And all we're going to do is just set this aside now, cover it over, put it in a fridge and leave it there until it doubles its size. Well that's your dough it's ready. So we'll get it out the bowl, a bit of spray. So all we need to be doing is scaling this up at 114 grams. So it's going to be around about, I think about eight. So all we need to do is just mold these round. You might well need some flour, not too much. So all we need to do is cover these over and give them around about 10 minutes. Right now we've rested these for 10 minutes and just about ready. So just get a bit of flour around. So all we need to do is roll these out. Like this. Bring up the square bit. And that grab hold of it and roll it backwards like that. Roll it long ways. 
and grab hold of it like that and then roll it back. And just roll them out a bit. So if you're parked, roll these out. So once again, I'll refresh your memory. Always across this part and we're in the middle. And if you roll from the middle, you get your length in the middle there. So in the meantime, we'll leave this for a bit. We'll go and get our tray and our paper. So we want uh, a metal tray and some silicone paper or some baking parchment. So there's my tray. So all we're gonna do is then roll these out a little bit further. Obviously at home, you'll most likely need two trays, but I'm lucky enough to have an oven big enough to put them all on one tray. Well, let's put it this way. I'm going to make them fit. And like you at home, you can make them fit if you want. Now torpedoes are very much like a big super long roll, but they only want to be about six inches long. So, is that about four? So we're going to roll it out a little bit more and then just put them onto the tray, like that. And they will shrink down. Now just to make sure your seam is going to be sat on the bottom. Like that. Don't worry too much if it if it does turn over in the oven, because on occasions they they can do. So these are now going to prove up on the table or you can put them in the bottom of your oven or wherever you like. All I'm going to do is cover these over and they're going to prove for around about 45 minutes, give or take. And then we can either egg wash them, flour them or do whatever you like to the top. Uh, just before they're due to go in the oven, we're going to split the top and then fire them into the oven. And in 30 minutes time, pop your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be 220 Celsius. Right, our rolls are ready. So what we're going to do next, and now we're going to wash them over with egg wash and slice them down with a razor blade. Well, our rolls are ready to go in the oven. Now we're going to be baking these for around about 15 minutes, give or take. But I would check seven minutes in and turn around in the oven so you get a nice even bake. Because if your oven's anything like my oven, it's all over the place. Right, we'll get them into the oven. Rolls are ready. We'll get them out of the oven. Well, there's your torpedoes. Oh, that looks lush. I need to get myself a proper razor blade because this razor blade I got are blunt. They should have had a nice cut across the top, but that's okay. They feel lovely and soft. Now, if you want to crust these up, you can do, but all you need to do is use a lot of steam in there. I didn't use any steam, I relied on egg wash, and the egg wash will just make it a little bit softer. Yeah, I'm happy with those. Yeah, that's fine. Well, there you go, folks. If you like content like this, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check the description down there because that is where you'll find your recipe and playlists. And I've got lots of recipes down there. Of course, you ought to know that by now. But there again, if you've just joined me, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking, lifestyle, recipes, 
reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!